Hi, I'm Reen Wilcoxon, founder of Embroidery Garden, and I wanted to let you know that Embroidery Garden is now offering online video courses. These courses can be on machine embroidery, sewing, crafting, or most anything. The courses will include step-by-step -step videos along with any needed files that stay in your account forever. I put up the first video course and I'm going to take you through purchasing it and accessing it. The most important thing to remember is that you must be logged in on the website to access any purchased courses. So let's get started. First, go to embroiderygarden.com and you can click on classes along the top menu bar and video courses. The virtual classes are the Zoom classes that are mainly presented by Caroline. So click on video courses and it will open up the video course page. At this time, I have one video course listed and it's the In the Hoop Needle Case. These are place markers here for other classes to come. So let's go ahead and click on it and it will give you a description of the video course and it will also say that it's a video course. Here's the description. It tells you what to expect from the course and it also says you must be logged into the site to view any purchased courses. So add it to your cart. We're going to go ahead and view the cart. I've got it in the cart now so I'll go ahead and I'll proceed to the checkout. Now I'm not logged in at this time, so to purchase anything off of embroiderygarden.com, you must be logged in. So let me go ahead and log in. And click the login button. I will be using a testing coupon code. This code is not valid. It's only for purposes of showing this demo to you. So I've got the needle course, uh, needle case video course in the cart. I'm going to drop down and check the box that says I have read and agreed to the terms of the website and place the order. You will be going through your checkout process and you get back to the page that says order received and it tells you exactly what you've ordered under the order details. Here is the needle, uh, in the hoop needle case video course. It is a clickable link, but it is only what you have purchased. So if you click on it, it's going to take you back to the page where you purchased it. So you can read the description. You will click on start the course. And it opens up the page for the in the hoop needle video course. Right now it says complete because I have been inside of the site testing this. It also says to begin this video course, click the first lesson below. So a course can contain one or many different lessons to it. So in this particular course, you can see we have the stitching the needle case and we also have installing the snap. Those are two different lessons within this course. So we're going to start with stitching the needle case. It opens up this page where you're going to start taking the course. Let's go through some of the things on this page. Right here where it says lesson, you can see it's highlighted in green. That means we are on the lesson page. This area here will be a short bio of the instructor of the course. It won't always be me from Embroidery Garden. I've got plans of collaborations with other people. So whoever is presenting the course, it will just be a short bio, plus there will be links here to their social media that you can click on. So it says it's the In the Hoop Needle Case video course. To download the files associated with this course, click on Materials above. Then click on Needle Case Files. Click Lesson to return to this page. Make sure that you read everything that is on the video course page before starting. So it says to download the uh, materials, which are going to be the embroidery files, PDFs, anything that is included um, as material for the course. You're going to click on materials, needle case files in this case. 
and it's gone it's gone ahead and my um, the way my computer is set up you can see up here it has gone ahead and downloaded it let me show you that it does it really quickly and then it comes up and shows me that it has been downloaded the page also said click lesson to return back to this page so this is lesson one stitching the needle case here's the step-by-step -step video you can click on it and watch the video the items down whoops the items down here at the bottom are some products that were used in the project in the video so if you wanted to check out any of those here are just some quick direct links to view those products and purchase them if you want so after you're done watching the stitching the case you can go to the next lesson which was installing the snap if you want to go back to the course you could click back to the course you could also access installing the snap by this link here at the bottom let's just move on to the next lesson and you can see the page opens up it looks basically like the first lesson page let it load here. It's going to, again, have the bio of the person that is presenting the course, and it says lesson two, installing the snap. So you will watch this video to see how to install the snap. Again, there are some products down here at the bottom that um, are presented in the video in case you wanted to look at those a little bit closer. So at, for this course, there are two lessons. I've gone through them. So let's go ahead now and log out of our account. A lot of people log out when they are um, done on a, a website. If you go to your mail that you have associated with embroideryguard.com, you're gonna get an email about your purchase, like you always do. For whatever reason at this time, you can see that there are two emails here one just says the order's been received and one says the order is complete. Doesn't matter which one you click on. I'm going to see if I can make it only send out one email, but that'll come a little bit later. So this is just like the email you get whenever you order anything from embroiderygarden.com. Tells you what you've ordered. And here it says, start the course. And it says you must be logged in to access any purchased courses. Let's go ahead and click it. Remember, I logged out of the account and now when I click start the course the page that comes up says I'm not enrolled this course is currently closed the course is closed to you because you are not logged in it's very important to remember to access your purchase courses you must be logged in so let me go up here to my account get logged back in on the website Click login. I get to my account page. You can either click recent orders here or orders over here, doesn't matter. My last order, this was the one where for the needle uh, case course. Again, it shows the product. If I click this link here, it's gonna take me back to the product page to see what it is. You have the start the course and I can click on it and I get back to the needle case video course page and I can go back and watch either video I want. Even though it says here I've completed this course at any time, I can come back and I can watch the first lesson. I can go back. I can watch the second lesson. If I need to go back and re-download those files, all I do is I'm going to go back to the first lesson because that's where it lists materials and I can click on this and I can re-download the files if I need to. So you can access purchase classes at any time as long as you are logged in. So be sure to follow Embroidery Garden on Facebook, get my newsletters, etc. so you know when new video courses are uploaded. Thanks.